July 1, 2025. A quiet night at the Atlas Telescope in Chile unfolds like any other, until a sudden cosmic intruder is spotted. 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever caught entering our solar system. What set it apart wasn't just its alien origin, but what happened next. After hurtling toward the sun, through searing heat and forces that should have destroyed it, 3i Atlas emerged intact. Some astronomers now call this a godlike warning, evidence the universe can defy even our best predictions and that humanity's cosmic alerts may be running years behind. If we missed this, what could be lurking just out of sight? Subscribe now, because what follows may change our understanding of planetary safety forever. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, detected something no one expected. The automated survey, built to scan the sky for moving objects that might threaten Earth, flagged a faint, fast-moving point of light just after midnight. The discovery timestamp landed in the official log, July 1, 2025, at 0317 UTC. Within minutes, the Atlas team confirmed the object wasn't on any catalogued list. Its speed and trajectory suggested an origin outside our solar system. For the third time in recorded history, astronomers had caught an interstellar visitor in the act of entering our neighborhood. The workflow at Atlas is relentless. Each night, the system captures thousands of images, searching for anything that shifts position against the stars. On this night, the alert passed from automated detection to human eyes. Team members reviewed the raw frames, checking for cosmic rays, satellites, or imaging glitches. The object was real. Its path cut across the southern sky, moving too fast and at too steep an angle to belong to any known asteroid family. The team quickly pulled up archived images from earlier in June. They found faint traces of the same object on June 14th, buried in the data, invisible, until the discovery triggered a deeper search. These pre-discovery images allowed astronomers to refine the orbit and confirm the interstellar nature of 3 cum i atlas Within hours, the Minor Planet Center received the official discovery circular. Coordinates, brightness, and motion data were released to observatories worldwide. The Zwicky Transient Facility in California and other Atlas telescopes across the globe joined in, snapping follow-up images and feeding them into the growing chain of custody. Every new frame added precision to the trajectory. The excitement was immediate. 3 i atlas was now under the collective watch of the world's astronomers, its every move tracked and time-stamped. The sense of discovery was electric, but so was the pressure. What this object would reveal, no one could yet predict. Subscribe for more deep dives into the unknown, because in cosmic time, the next surprise could already be on its way. Around the world, telescopes snapped to attention. The Minor Planet Center's alert set off a chain reaction. Within an hour, the Zwicky Transient Facility in California began collecting its own images. Other Atlas stations, from Hawaii to South Africa, joined the effort. Each survey brought its own strengths. ZTF's wide-field camera could cover enormous swaths of sky in a single night, while Atlas's rapid cadence meant no movement went unnoticed. Every new observation added a fresh data point, position, brightness, motion, feeding a growing global dataset. Astronomers worked through the night, refining the orbit with each frame. By sunrise in Chile, the object's path was already pinned down to a precision that would have taken days in the past. Teams compared notes in real time, sharing astrometry and photometry over dedicated networks. The initial uncertainty about its speed and angle shrank with every update. Early confidence grew. This was no ordinary comet, and its trajectory left little doubt about its interstellar origin. The cooperative speed was unprecedented. Automated alerts, shared codebooks, and standardized reporting meant that even amateur astronomers could contribute valuable data. Each frame was time-stamped and logged, building a continuous record of the object's journey. The wide-field approach paid off. No gap in the sky went unexamined. Survey methodology, 
once seen as a compromise between depth and coverage, now showed its full power. As the hours passed, the focus shifted. Curiosity grew about what would happen as the object approached the sun. With every new image, the world's best telescopes tracked its progress, laying the groundwork for what would become one of the most closely watched solar encounters in recent memory. The dataset was robust, the collaboration seamless. But the real test, what secrets this interstellar visitor would reveal as it dove sunward, was still to come. By late October 2025, the world's best telescopes were effectively blind. 3i slash Atlas, after weeks of precise tracking, was now lost in a patch of sky far too close to the sun for any ground-based observer to follow. The problem wasn't a lack of technology or effort, it was pure geometry. As the comet approached its closest point to the sun on October 29th, its solar elongation, the angle between the object and the sun, as seen from Earth, dropped below 30 degrees. For astronomers, that's the danger zone. Anything within that narrow wedge of sky is drowned out by daylight, no matter how powerful the telescope. The timing couldn't be worse. Just as 3i slash Atlas reached perihelion, the Earth was on the wrong side of its orbit. The Sun sat directly between us and the comet, blocking every line of sight. Not even the largest observatories in Chile, Hawaii, or the Canary Islands could catch a glimpse. This blackout wasn't a surprise. Orbital models had predicted the loss of contact for months. But knowing it was coming didn't make it any less frustrating. For a brief critical window, the fate of an interstellar visitor would be decided out of view. The only hope for real-time monitoring came from space. NASA's SOHO spacecraft, parked in a halo orbit around the L1 point, spends its days staring at the Sun and the immediate surroundings. ESA's Solar Orbiter, designed to survive intense radiation, offered another vantage point. Even Mars orbiters and distant probes like Europa Clipper were pressed into service, their cameras turned toward the inner solar system. These spacecraft could track objects lost to Earth's glare, but their instruments were built for other missions. Imaging a faint, fast-moving interstellar object near the blinding solar disk was never part of their original design brief. On the ground, astronomers watched the data stream go dark. For weeks, the Minor Planet Center's nightly updates showed only silence. The last inbound measurements, time-stamped days before perihelion, became the final word until December. All anyone could do was wait, calculating probabilities, running models, and hoping that somewhere beyond the sun, 3Y slash Atlas was still holding together. This blackout period is a reminder of how much depends on perspective. The universe isn't always arranged for human convenience. Sometimes the most important moments happen in places we simply can't see. The tension was real. Would the comet survive its brush with the sun, or would it vanish unobserved into cosmic history? The answer for now was hidden in the sun's glare. By the first week of December 2025, astronomers were bracing for disappointment. Every model, every simulation run in the months before perihelion had pointed to the same outcome. 3i slash Atlas would not survive its close pass by the sun. The heat at 1.36 astronomical units, over 200 million kilometers from the solar furnace, should have been enough to vaporize the ices, fracture the nucleus, and scatter the fragments into a cloud of dust. Most comets, especially those making their first dive from interstellar space, simply don't make it out alive. But then, just as the pre-dawn sky began to clear, the Minor Planet Center logged a new detection. 3i slash Atlas had reappeared. Its brightness and trajectory matched predictions, but the object was still intact. NASA confirmed the survival in a briefing that stunned the planetary science community. The statement was simple. 3i slash Atlas survived its close encounter with the Sun, a rare event and a chance to study interstellar material directly. In labs and observatories worldwide, scientists dropped their assumptions and started poring over the data. For weeks, the absence of signals had left everyone guessing. Now, the object's return forced a reckoning with the models that had forecast its destruction. The physical forces at play were no joke. At perihelion, 
3i slash Atlas face temperatures hot enough to boil away surface ice, rip apart weak structures, and trigger violent outgassing. Tidal stresses from the sun's gravity should have pulled at the nucleus, testing every seam and fracture. Yet, the nucleus held together. Some researchers began to question whether the object was truly a comet at all. If it was, why didn't it break up like so many sun grazers before it? If it was more like an asteroid, what kind of rock or metal could survive such an ordeal? The debate over classification reignited overnight. NASA's Dr. Laurie Glaze put it bluntly, We're seeing a visitor built with components not clearly cometary or asteroidal. It challenges our definitions. The object's behavior didn't fit the usual categories. It had shown a coma and tail before perihelion, signs of volatile ices vaporizing. But its survival hinted at a core tougher than anything seen in local comets. Some astronomers suggested it might contain ancient minerals, forged in the chaos of another solar system and toughened by eons of interstellar radiation. Others pointed to the possibility of a protective crust, shielding the interior from the worst of the sun's heat. For planetary scientists, the failure of the destruction models was a wake-up call. Everything from the strength of the nucleus to the chemistry of the ices was now under review. The lines between comet and asteroid, between fragile and resilient, had blurred. The survival of 3i slash Atlas didn't just rewrite the odds, it forced the scientific community to admit how much they still didn't know. The next step was clear. Gather hard evidence, analyze the returning light, and see what secrets this cosmic survivor might reveal about its true nature. Like and subscribe if you want to follow the story as new data comes in. Because what scientists learn next could change everything we thought we knew about cosmic visitors. The James Webb Space Telescope's spectrograph picked up a strong carbon dioxide signal in the coma with a clear signature of the rare carbon-13 isotope. That's not something you see every day. The main carbon dioxide line was broad and bright, sitting right at 4.26 microns, while the isotope's faint echo appeared at 4.38 microns. But there's a catch. Dust in the coma muddied the view, making it tough to pin down the exact ratio. Even so, the presence of carbon-13 in this abundance raised eyebrows. Some researchers wondered if this was a clue to the object's birthplace, maybe even a fingerprint from a different galaxy's chemistry. Meanwhile, the very large telescope in Chile zeroed in on the ultraviolet and blue part of the spectrum. On July 20th, its detectors flagged something odd. Atomic nickel vapor, but almost no iron. Normally, Comets shed both metals in similar amounts as they get close to the sun. Here, nickel outpaced iron by a wide margin. The VLT team ran checks for line confusion and telluric contamination, but the signal held up. By late August, they measured around 4.6 grams per second of nickel escaping from the coma, with iron still missing in action. The nickel likely came from volatile organics breaking down under solar radiation, possibly nickel tetracarbonyl, which can vaporize at lower temperatures than iron compounds. Gemini South and NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility added another layer. Their near-infrared spectra showed a deep, broad absorption at 2.0 microns, matching water ice. Modeling suggested ice grains made up about 30% of the coma's dust at that point. The 1.5 micron water band was too faint to confirm, probably drowned in noise, but the 2.0 micron feature was unmistakable. That much ice, this close to the sun, shouldn't last long. Yet there it was, stubbornly clinging to the surface. Trajectory data from the Minor Planet Center showed a retrograde orbit tilted 175 degrees to the ecliptic and a velocity of 68 kilometers per second at perihelion. No known solar system object moves quite like this. Some theorists started running new dynamical models trying to explain how an object with these materials and this speed could survive a solar flyby. The consensus? Current models need work. Instrument teams cautioned that all these findings are provisional, especially with dust and gas swirling in the coma. Still, the chemistry and course of 3i slash Atlas don't fit the usual playbook. The data forced a rethink. If you want to keep up with discoveries that rewrite the rules, hit subscribe. 
because the next anomaly might already be out there. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office did not sound any alarms over 3EI slash Atlas. The closest the object came to Earth was 1.8 astronomical units, nearly 270 million kilometers away. On paper, there was no threat, no reason for late-night emergency briefings or public warnings. But inside the PDCO, the event sparked a different kind of audit. Internal memos and simulation exercises began to ask harder questions. What if the next interstellar visitor does not pass at a safe distance? What if detection comes too late for action? The truth is, 3I slash Atlas was only caught because of Atlas's relentless wide sky scanning and a global chain of data sharing. Had it arrived on a steeper path or entered the system with less warning, existing protocols might have struggled to keep pace. The current network of surveys, Atlas, Zwicky, PanStars, has closed many old gaps, but not all. Upgrades are already in motion. The Vera Rubin Observatory, set to begin operations soon, will scan the entire visible sky every few nights, catching smaller and fainter objects. NASA's NEO Surveyor, launching later this decade, promises to spot even the cold, dark bodies that slip past optical telescopes. These projects were planned before 3 ai slash Atlas, but the comet's survival and odd trajectory have given new urgency to their missions. Some researchers argue that interstellar objects, with their unpredictable speeds and origins, are the ultimate test for planetary defense. The models that failed to predict 3 y slash Atlas's fate are now under review, with scientists calling for more robust simulations and earlier warning triggers. History offers sobering context. In 1908, the Tunguska event flattened forests across Siberia with no warning, a cosmic airburst, likely from a small comet or asteroid, that could have devastated a city. In 1994, fragments of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 slammed into Jupiter, leaving scars the size of Earth. The 2013 Chelyabinsk airburst over Russia injured more than a thousand people caught on cameras but missed by surveys. Each event forced new investments in detection, modeling, and public education. The lesson, cosmic surprises are not rare, and each one stretches the limits of what we think we know. The European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter Project scientist summed up the mood. Every time we think we understand comets, the universe surprises us. Three. I slash Atlas is a prime example. The comet's survival is not just a scientific puzzle. It's a quiet warning that the universe does not wait for us to be ready. Some astronomers suggest that similar survivors could pass even closer, unnoticed until too late. The next upgrade, the next simulation, the next global drill, all are shaped by the humbling reality that we are still catching up to the cosmos. If you believe planetary defense matters, hit like and subscribe, because the next wake-up call might not be so gentle. On July 1, 2025, 3i slash Atlas became only the third confirmed interstellar object ever tracked in our solar system. Its survival past perihelion, confirmed by NASA in early December 2025, challenged long-standing models about what such visitors can endure near the Sun. Spectroscopic data from the James Webb Space Telescope, the Very Large Telescope, and Gemini revealed unexpected chemical signatures, carbon dioxide isotope anomalies, nickel without iron, and a clear water ice band. Alongside a 68 km per second hyperbolic trajectory that current models struggle to explain. Yet, key questions remain. The exact origins and internal structure of 3i slash Atlas are still undetermined, and no official planetary defense review has been published to date. What is certain, 3i slash Atlas has exposed gaps in our detection and response systems, prompting urgent upgrades to planetary defense networks like the Rubin Observatory and the Near Earth Object Surveyor. As new surveys come online, this event will serve as a case study in cosmic unpredictability, a factual reminder that the universe can still surprise us. Subscribe for more investigations into the unknown.